the greatest ideas have come from sitting on the toilet. Every day, some company, individual or group, is known for giving the public a load of bullshit. Come here to get your daily dose of shit by Alan Cousin. It's time you hear the shit everyone wants to know. Hello, hello, and welcome to your Daily Dose of Shit podcast with your host, Alan Cousin. How are you today on this Thursday, April 20th? That's right, 420, my friend, 420. For everybody out there, of course, who's recreational, you know what I'm talking about. Hope you're enjoying your day being recreational and being safe while you're doing it. So, of course, I am not recreational in that sense, so, of course, you know, I just enjoyed my day, went to job, went to work. Got things done, but uh, that's basically it. But my day was nice, so I can't really complain. Uh, not really frantic or uh, stressful in any way, so that's always nice, right? But I will say, today I was thinking, you know, while I was sitting in my white porcelain throne, thinking about the whole thing about things called choices. You know, you really never think about the situation of that word choices. The choices you make. Are the actions that you get after you know I mean it, it's it's interesting how we live life and we really never suspect that all the choices we make every day every second every minute of our life in one way or another causes our life to be changed now it can be a slow change a small change or big change but it's just a thing it does change every day our life changes and we really don't think about it because Every day we can make the same choice. We can make a different choice. Every day we do, though, indeed make choices. And one of the things I was thinking about when I thought about choices is the choices of who you deal with and the choices of who you decide to live with, more so the choices who you love. Because when it comes to relationships, you know, especially nowadays with these Generation Zs and As and non-binary and sexo sexual and sapiosexual and so forth you really know don't know what you're getting or who you're going to deal with and you really have to be valid in the choices you make with the people you're bringing into your life and let me tell you there's some crazy ass people out there okay i mean it's not getting any better it's only getting worse and you never know what you're getting. That's the thing about it. It's like Forrest Gump would say, you know, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're getting. And that's true. You never really know what you're getting. I mean, you might go out, see this young lady or guy and be like, oh my God, you know, and look at them, how they look and think they're just amazing according to your standards of what amazing is. And then you wind up getting home with them, waking up the next morning and like, oh. Are you? Because you're not the person I remember yesterday. I remember one time I was going out a long time ago, and it was a girl. And you know, I was at a club, and I saw the girl, and I was like, "Hey, you know, let's get together." And we had fun. Had a couple drinks, danced, had you know, a great time, and it was just enjoying each other's company and everything. So, long story short, you know, she wound up coming to my apartment, staying over. You know, we didn't have any sex or anything like that, but we had a good time. We watched movies and we fell asleep. And then I woke up the next morning and I saw her. You know, I I said, good morning. And she turned around and she's like, good morning. And then it was like, what? T-W-T-F. Because I was like, who are you? Because the person I saw had longer eyelashes, had longer hair, had different complexion on her skin in a way. And this was the person that, you know, took off the eyelashes, took off the wig, took off the skin tone and the makeup. And then I got to see the real her. 
I mean, granted, she wasn't that much of a difference, but she was different. And I was like, wow. Amazing what makeup and a wig can do. Let me tell you. And her Spanx, by the way. She took her Spanx off, too. So, But anyway, I'm just saying, you just never know what you're going to get when you're dealing with people today. And you have to think about that. You have to think about, in today's life, everything is not what it seems. The ideas of what you think you're going to get, sometimes if something is too good to be true, then most likely it is too good to be true. You know. Now, granted, there are those special options, special moments in time that you do get an opportunity that's just grand and good, too good to be true. And it happens, and it is good, and it is actually real. You know, so it's not saying you can't win the lottery. It's not saying you can't meet that special man or that special woman and fall in love and have them for the rest of your life or get that perfect job that you've always been looking for. I mean, things like this can happen. It's just that the odds of it are very high and most likely against you and not for you. And I just don't know what to think about the future of America or the future of the world for our generation that's growing up now. You know, how are they going to deal and accept the situations that we went through? Are they going to actually be able to handle the same situations we went through? Or is it going to be worse? You know, and are they going to have the proper support mentally, emotionally, and physically? And the questions... I really don't have the answers to. But I will say this. Every day is a battle. So every day you get up in the morning and every night you go back and lay down, you have been victorious, my friend, in battling that day. Because no day, no matter how nice it seems, is ever easy. Because you always will have something pop up or someone pop up to make you have to make decisions and make the right ones at that. And that's what I've decided. That's why I realized when I was sitting on my porcelain throne, easing out the boys into the pool, that I've been here for 49 years. And I distinctly remember when my teacher told me I'll never forget when I was 14. My teacher told me, Yo, Bobby wound up dying by the time you were 32. Now, granted, I lived in New Orleans, and, you know, New Orleans, though it's a great place for tourists to travel and enjoy, it's not the best place to live, you know? I mean, we were number one murder capital in the world for several years. So, yes, it was in a place where you were expected to succeed or move forward or more so to just live long and here I am now I beat that system I beat that 32 years you know and hopefully I can double it and beat that 64 you know we'll see but it's just interesting when you think about all you've been through and how You've been expected that you won't survive, and yet you do. And it, it's like it's like a compliment, but more so like a medal of honor that you know that you succeeded and you didn't give up, that you still moved forward, and you still conquered your fears, and you know had the ability of getting up and moving forward and battling each day and being victorious at the end of each day. And I really hope that our generation can do the same. I really hope that they can handle the many problems and situations and incidents that they're going to go through and that they will not give up, but also that they will improve life for themselves and for others so that the future can be a better future for the following generation coming in. Because that's my problem is I think that we as civilians and as humans have failed the generation today, that we didn't prepare the world to be a better place and a better world for them so that they can grow up living a better way of life. And it's unfortunate, it really is, because you know we should have done that. We should have tried to improve and make things better for the generation coming in and not just be selfish 
or simply say, oh, you know what? We'll just push it and let the next person deal with it, you know? I mean, it, it, it's just unfair in a way that we don't strive like we should to help our future be better. And I don't know if it's because we're selfish. I don't know if it's because we are afraid and fearful that if we do it, it's gonna, you know, affect the current status of who we are. I, I just really don't understand and I really don't know because I'm not everyone in this world. I don't know what everyone's thinking. So, you know, it, it's just, I hope that we can improve. I hope that we can do better next time around. I hope that we strive for a better future for everyone and not be selfish and only worry about our own. And like I said, I hope these things, but at the same time, I don't know. And I care about how things will be. So that's the thing, you know. It's a situation where you really don't know what to expect, but you go in there and you just hope that, you know, hope for the best. So, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hope for the best. I'm going to hope that our center, our situation will improve, that we will improve, that we will strive, that we will become better, and that we will want to do better for not only others, but more so ourselves. But that's just something you need to think about. Choices. Every day, you make a choice. Every day, your choices change who you are, but also indirectly affect others. And every day, you wake up to different choices. So always remember that. Before you make that choice, remember who it's affecting. And remember how it could affect your present. I mean, your, your, yeah, your present, but also someone else's future. Because choices are not just something you easily deal out. Choices are something you think thoroughly through to make the proper decisions. And if you're not, then I highly suggest you change your ways and start doing it. But anyway, that was what I thought about today. So there you go. There's your daily dose of shit from Alan Cousin. Talking about choices. Let's make the right choice for ourselves, but more so, let's make the right choice for others. Let's make a better America. Let's make a better world. Let's make a better future. Shall we? I hope the answer is yes. So anyway, until tomorrow, enjoy your day, enjoy your time, enjoy your choices. And always remember, there are still idiots out there. Just try to protect others from their choices. Have a good one. Thanks for listening to your Daily Dose of Shit Talk Show. If you have some insights, questions, or information of bullshit to pass on, please email us at momentousevents at AOL.com. Make sure to come back daily to hear some new shit about money, business, life, and who knows what else as I take a dump on the toilet. <laughs>